Honest, I don't know much about these players. Uh, I don't know much about this game. Well, that's not true. I know, that. but okay. Ooh, that was a great. Uh, that's what they call it. Uh, the dashing attack. Uh, oh, thank God, someone else who actually knows the game is here. All right. Hello. Okay, there we are. All right. Anyway, oh. yes. Let's get into this. We're going to be having Tony Pajamas versus Jen. Oh, now I finally get it. Tony Pajamas, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, what did you la What were you not getting before? I, I didn't get the... I, I, the did reference didn't click yet. It, but it was it, is it a reference? To the Amanda Show, Drake. Remember it's Drake? a reference? Do you remember Drake Bell on the Amanda Show? Yes, he's going to jail. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Anyway, <laughs> well, he might be doing some hard community service, but anyway... On the Amanda Show, Drake Bell played a character called Tony Pajamas. He was like a moth Italian mafia guy. Ooh, just missing. Like, could he have uh, done an air dodge there? Uh, uh, no, no, at that point. In so Inkling can't do that. No, right Inkling now. does okay. not have any sort of... Uh, he goes right into free fall as soon as that up he finishes. Yes, and, but we are having a very even game right now between mm -hmm. these two players. Even though Tony just took about 70%. Uh, I mean, All Inkling without has... Control. Yeah, so... Th that's against Palutena. A lot of the times, you kind of have to just already accept that. You know, I mean, some, sometimes you don't get near to seventy, but it's just an occupational hazard, and he's not letting it get to him. As we see, he already has basically even it up here, and he's continuing to put on the pressure. Not sure exactly what that back air was. He gives up that advantage because of it, and now we're Ooh, yeah, down now to we're an even game. Yeah, I was about to say like Is that. Me? Did he say Zing? Uh, okay. All right, we're good. Yep. Now between these two players, oh, Jen definitely the favored one. But Ooh. Tony is. Oh, I thought he was gonna win. Yeah. So, so, so Tony hails from CT uh, and is a very solid player out there. I believe he's still PR, although. What is PR nowadays, considering yeah, the fact that, you know, COVID has kind of upended the whole system. But, oh, so this could still possibly, you know, it, he's the type of player where he can close out a set like this in his Goodbye. favor. Yeah. So, I read... Well, ooh. I was about to say, I think if this is, you know, pretty much back to neutral at the moment. But I think Gen... Who would you say is from CT, Gen? Uh, Tony is the one from Connecticut. Okay, and Gen's a local here? Relatively speaking. Okay. He's New York City, but he's Westchester at heart. <laughs> okay. Now, so this is... That was good DI away. Uh, that Palatino down throw uh, will no longer true combo into back air, especially off stage like that. So... Tony Pajamas is just drifting away, and he is not getting hit by that finisher. And not getting hit by the finisher means that he is staying alive right now. The boldness just shooting his gun at that I, range. I was about to say, he could, he, uh, he was doing that before, and I thought, uh, not really sure if that's like an inkling thing, but I guess he just wants uh, to lay on the ink, get to, uh, some more damage in. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting called. I guess All I'll right, go. okay. All right. I will hold down the fort then. Hold on a second. It's fine. I'm a All right. I'm just going to solo commentate for a bit. Funnily enough. All right. All right, so we're going to be getting into game two. Really close, though. Tony managing to keep it neck and neck right up until the very end. Jen definitely should not feel too comfortable about that win. And now we're Stop moving on to game two. The question is, what stage are we going to see? I could very feasibly see us go back to PS2. Um, I think that it's the sort of thing where... D yeah, yeah, okay. So when you are that close to winning, you know, it's like, oh, definitely like technical things or just approaches that if I had done differently I could have taken that game there might not be a necessity 
to switch up the stage. You know, the stage was working out pretty decently for him, so I like the idea of going back here. And this time around, remember before we were talking about how, oh, Palutena has these amazing low percent combos, but so far, Tony hasn't gotten hit once, so he has not had to suffer the indignity. As I say that, about 34% dished out really quick. Great punish from Jen, just optimally going for the down air into grab combo. Oh, Tony has that stage advantage at the moment. And that was so nice. Stealing the ledge, forcing the explosion. Tony is just uh, <laughs> absolutely playing out of his mind in this game here. Jen has only won two neutral interactions in total, which is kind of incredible considering the fact that he, as a player, his neutral is one of his strongest suits. Okay, being pushed into the ledge like that. Tony has put in all of this work, but Inkling can struggle to kill at times. And Palatina, oh, she does not struggle in the same way. A slight misspacing right there, and that explosive flame takes Tony out. And now Jen sitting at 190, 149%, and it's the sort of thing where, even though he's at such a high percentage, Tony still feels the need to go for smash attack to close it out. Yeah, that forward air, it's not enough. 161, and oh, that was so good. Recognizing that the counter was about to happen, drifts back and then punishes the jump away, which was the defensive option chosen by Jen right there. Oh, but Tony, you know, he had a massive lead going in to the very beginning of this game. But since then, Jen has been playing, you know, after he took that stock, just playing the way he wants to be. And now that all these hits are just coming together, Tony getting the damage racked on. Jen with stage control, this might be it here. Yup, that time the back, down throw back air is actually connecting and Tony's fighting from behind. Jen just is absolutely in control right now, putting him off stage. Oh, I'm not sure exactly what that down air was. I think maybe he got a phantom footstool and therefore the down air ended up being mis misspaced. Regardless though, Jen can afford to make a few mistakes. Obviously you don't want to be, but you know, he can play safely and then, you know, Inkling can be trouble, you know, kind of tricky to catch, and that means that he doesn't have to commit to any punishes if he doesn't feel very confident in doing so. Uh, that was why he just didn't get hit by it. Me. All right, it is worth noting that Jen, a lot of times so far, has used jump as a uh, as a way to get out of the corner. And if Tony can, you know, pay attention and lead on to that fact, Ooh, okay, things not quite as dire as they were just a moment ago. Tony at 60%, he definitely has to be scared, but if you can, like, Palutena is a character where after the nerfs she got, it's a lot easier to play around her kill tools. Uh, it used to be that Palutena had so many ways to end her stock, but now it looks like Tony is aware of what he needs to be looking out for. Oh, he could have gotten the reset, but no such luck. We're looking at this... Only about 20%, even less separating them. Going back and forth. And there's going to be the first opening. Tony Pajamas putting Jen on the ledge once again. Another one of those. That down smash, though, not getting a strong hit from it. Jen, though, is the one who's suffering. He gets hit by the up smash. Uh, that up smash just barely nicking him. I think he forward aired and actually extended his hurt box. I wasn't 100% sure there, but that's what happened. Yep, he extended. It's exactly what happened. Just an amazing call out from Tony Pajamas. And I, it's worth noting, that up smash from Inkling, not really known for being an anti-air tool. You know, it's good, it's big, but it's kind of slow, and they, a lot of characters are not gonna, just going to get hit by it. Stop the battle. That was a very particular call out going for the up smash there. And now we move into game three. It's gonna be on Smashville. I know that in general, Palutena's can kind of like Smashville. For one, her uh, her combo is the neutral layer, that sort of thing. Very easy to follow up on uh, with it on the platform that's located in the middle right there. Oh, we might see it this time. No, instead it's just gonna be a regular one, two, three punch. Tony Pajama's already taken about six. And, oh man, look at this. This is where stage picks can really matter. Tony is struggling to get to the ledge in a way that he really wasn't in those games one and two. Yeah, oh, 
Oh, that was so sneaky. Going for the first forward air at a high range at full hop height in order to bait an approach, catching him with the second. Ooh, but those are those are those neat, keen little tricks aren't gonna work very often against Jen. Carefully, and then it, finally the explosive flame hits. You can dodge them all, or you can dodge most of them, but all he needs is the one at kill percent to take you out. All right, it's worth noting that I think at, in about 30% or so, there might be an up throw up air uh, kill confirm. Okay, oh, also inks, that can make a big difference. I think he's gonna be looking for a grab right now. Yeah, you saw it right there, but Jen, aware of the option, spot dodges it in a crucial moment. He's maintaining this lead and already air dodge, but not able to punish. I think the fact that Palutena disappears might have messed up his uh, exact spacing on the forward air. And now all of a sudden we have Jen. Just 115%. He's about to be, he's about to be lapping Tony Pajamas, though. Oh, wow. That's actually... Man, when two people kind of have a stare down like that, and then one of them breaks and goes for the dash attack, and yet somehow Tony Pajamas, he still loses at the end of all that interaction. He was doing so good in that last game, but I think there are just some things about this stage in particular. He's not able to play neutral the way he was, and also Jen is just adjusting his play so beautifully. Gonna be cleaning up that stock, and he did make a comeback that was honestly comparable to this in the last game. But it feels like Jin hasn't figured out a little bit more. I'd be surprised if we do see that level of comeback, but anything is possible. Tony Pajamas, though, once again trapped at the ledge. Ooh, Jen kind of going up. Uh, oh, oh, man. Neutral there's out of that grab combo. That could have been huge damage for Tony. But instead, yeah. Forced to upbeat to the ledge once more, taking all this damage, and even when he manages to get back down to the ground, yeah, that's just getting reversed on him. He's too hungry to continue these combos past maybe where they shouldn't be. And Jen is calling him out for it. Oh, back throw. That good DI keeping him alive, though. Although I'm pretty sure it'd have to be Omega Bad DI to die right there. But nonetheless, Tony Pajamas at 122%. This is a, keep in mind, this is a character that has a, uh, a kill confirm off of that grab. So if he does manage to survive here and then get, you know, a solid combo on Jen's next stock, he might be able to set up for it, but... Okay, surviving, but oh man, 165. At this point, just about anything Palutena has can kill, and the back air is more than enough to do it.